Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a quick video and the reason for that is, is we're going to be taking a look at a website. And as you can see, the website we're going to be taking a look at is on the screen right now, and it's called The Restart Page. And this is a website that I've known about for a while, but I've never really thought of making a video on it, but I just kind of thought tonight would be a pretty cool uh, time just, you know, just to kind of show you what this website is about. And this is a really cool website uh, for anybody who's interested in virtualization or older operating systems, even some newer operating systems as well, as it kind of allows you to experience a little slice of a ton of different operating systems right from within your web browser. And what I'm talking about is the restart process. You know, what happens when you click on that restart button uh, from the computer shutting down? Uh, to starting back up what happens during that time if you're really interested in that or if you just want to see what a particular uh, Operating system that you've never used before looks like when it restarts This is a really cool website that you might want to check out again. It's at the restart page.com It's you know totally free and when you first go to the page This is what you're going to be presented with you got a, a ton of different boxes here from multiple different operating systems uh, that in it, you know, the site just allows you to interact with them and you can even move these around. So if I want to move this Windows 2001 around, I can just, you know, click on it there. It does kind of glitch out sometimes, but, uh, you get the gist of it. And essentially what you do is, you know, let's say you want to see what Windows 2000 looks like when it restarts. You just go over here. You can even change the option to, you know, go to shut down. But they all pretty much do the same thing. So we'll just go ahead and, uh, you know, choose restart here. Click on OK. And what it will do is it will simulate the Windows 2000 restarting process right from within your web browser here. It even goes to emulate, you know, like the BIOS of a computer booting up and, you know, showing text on the screen. Even sounds, as you probably just heard. It uh, simulates the PC speaker beeping. Um, as you I mean, if you guys have ever used Windows 2000, you'll, you know, know exactly what this is. It, it's, you know, you, you can tell at like some points like at this screen right now, it's very stretched out. So you can tell it at some points that it's not the real thing. But overall, it does a very good job at kind of simulating what uh, the restart process. And that was uh, the startup sound, uh, as I was saying. It does a very good job at simulating what the restart process looks like. Even, you know, things like the BIOS, sounds, and the images that are displayed on the screen. And once it fully restarts, it just brings you right back to the same page. And now let's say if you want to take a look at open step. So here we have this open step box over here. And, you know, this is what would come up if you go into the open step, you know, into the menu and uh, click on restart. This is the menu that's going to come up. We'll go ahead and click on OK. And it's going to go through that simulation as well. And I'll kind of show you what that looks like here. So it has a, you know, you know, kind of simulating that we have open step installed on an IBM uh, computer here. And it goes through and pretty much just like you would normally boot up a computer uh, and load into OpenStep. And again, once that it fully loads up, uh, it, it will take us back to that same page. You even have like the very first version of Windows, Windows 1.0 right over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So again, it's got, you know, that PC speaker beep. And this one probably isn't, isn't going to really be a whole lot. American Megatrends BIOS. Uh, but there's not really that much of a startup process for Windows 1. You just basically boot into DOS and uh, and type Win and it will load Windows. And it will actually do that here. So it should come up with a C prompt or an A prompt here. And that was not me typing Win. So it automatically types that out and, uh, you know, displays the Windows 1.01 startup screen. And eventually it just goes back to the same page. So you're, you're never actually going to be able to go into the operating system. I mean, it's not, you know, the site isn't really designed to do that. And what I think is just really cool about this site is that if you've never really tried out one of these older operating systems and you kind of want to see uh, what it looked like, you know, what the boot up process and the restart process looked like, you can kind of emulate that here and kind of get a feel uh, for what that it was like. So for example, if you've never used an Apple II GS and don't know what GS OS looks like when it starts up, well, this box right here is just for you. Now, like I said, even if we change, I mean, the, the site does allow you to change, you know, the option from restart to something else. So even if I choose return to launching application or even turn off system power, it's still going to bring you back to the website. So let's just go ahead and click on OK here. And this right here is what an Apple II GS looks like when it starts up. Of course, 
again, it's not uh, fully one to one, but it it is pretty close. I mean, the only real difference is that if you're you know viewing this widescreen, it kind of you know spans out the whole thing across the web browser. Whereas obviously, if you're on like an Apple II GS, uh, the screen's only going to be four by three and not sixteen by nine. So that's really the only major difference. But overall it's a really really good recreation let's go ahead and wait for it to finish starting up here but yeah there you have it i mean like i said a very very quick video today but i, I just kind of wanted to show you guys this website in case some of you guys hadn't really heard of it as i think it's a you know pretty neat little website here that uh, somebody might find pretty fun to uh, to check out. So I just want to uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below if you haven't already, and turn on notifications to see more videos like this in the near future. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.